Every great city in the history of the world has been tied in to a body of water. You know, I don't care if it's Cairo or London, and these great ports, even Puget Sound. And with that goes things. It goes ferries, there goes docks and bridges. Moved down here as a young kid from Fairbanks in 1959, and Anchorage was a small town at the time. Uh, we lived very close to downtown, and our road was a dirt road, and, and now you just assume that these things were all, always paved and always developed. But uh, I've had the opportunity over 50 years of living here to watch Anchorage change from a, a small town to a thriving metropolitan city. I have three children between the ages of 17 and, and 22, that I would like them to have the same kind of economic opportunities that my generation has had here in Alaska. Again, I take you back to the, the legislature when they created Kabata, Kinnikarn Bridge and Toll Authority. They understood this is really an economic development project beyond just being a transportation asset to, say, re relieve congestion, for example. The Kinnikarn Bridge would create somewhere around 14,000 jobs over a 10 to 15 year period. A state where we have 311,000 people working, 14,000 is significant. We want to see that progress, that social growth, that economic growth, that environmental growth. We want to see those growths happen sustainably. It's not only our right, but our responsibility. As a sidelight of the bridge reducing the miles traveled by the public also reduces the greenhouse gas emissions that come out of, out of people driving automobiles. Uh, federal transportation dollars, which is what uh, funds most of the transportation infrastructure in Alaska today, is in short supply. With a toll project, what happens is we're able to leverage limited public funds to get a lot of infrastructure. There isn't a toll facility out there, a major toll facility on a national highway system route that hasn't paid for itself. And not only that, in the future it will spin off excess revenue. It will actually help fund other transportation infrastructure. And you look across the inlet and you say, well, I don't see anything over there. And you're going to spend $700 million building a bridge to go over there and there's nothing there. This will provide residential property. It will provide additional commercial property. Someday there'll probably be restaurants and hotels over on this side on these bluffs looking towards uh, Anchorage and it's spectacular, uh, especially uh, at nighttime.